G'day guys, Dan from Tazzy Freedivers here. So we're down at Soldiers Rocks. I'm here with Will, who's in the water right now, trying to get um, some more crays. Blake Marriott from Van Diemen Fishing. And um, yeah, we've just gone for a dive, as you can see. Decent diving. Um, it was a bit swelly, as you might be able to see. But it's not, it's not the worst conditions. Pretty warm, I think it was about 24 today. So, um, yeah, got, hopefully got some good footage. Um, I'll see what I can put together. And, um, yeah, I might just stop talking now. You came here to see footage of diving, so that's what you're gonna get. Time to go diving. <laughs> for some stranger so he could use his hooker. It's just, it's outrageous. I just can't handle this, it's not right. <laughs> anyway, back to dive. So what I've got here are the two crays that we just caught on the dive. They're both males and they're not huge, but they're legal size, so they're both, their carapace is 110 mils. Both are only a few mils over, so not huge, but Still an alright result for this spot. This spot is not the greatest spot. We fished out, but yeah, there's a bit yum for dinner. Not that much. Rightio, and um, we've also got eight we've abs got as eight well. I'm gonna um, actually put these guys in the water and then like bring them back. Yeah. Because it was their tails were like getting really loose. Yeah. So we're just gonna go do that. Coolio. Rightio, so we're back at the house. Got uh, all the catch here, two two crays, eight abs. And Will here's gonna show you how, how it's done, so. So, we're gonna clean the abs first, and to do that, all you really need is your ab iron and a sharp knife. So first you wanna get your ab iron, and just find the front of the abalone, where it's kind of the breathing holes at the end of the shell, and you just chuck your ab iron straight down the front, pry it loose from the shell. So once you stuck your abalone in, it's all loose, you come around from the back, lift it up and just peel it out backwards, trying to keep as much as guts in the shell as you can. So then once you've done that, you just get your knife and cut out the beak, which is on the front of the abalone, and you just cut in and across. Well, it's nice, very long, so it makes it a little bit harder. That should be right. And that's one done. So that is one done abalone. We'll get back to you and we get up to the craze. So we've just done all the abalone, so they're all done and cleaned. Might need a rinse later, but that's fine. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to kill and 
pair of the crayfish quickly. So what we're going to do for the crayfish is we're just basically going to cut them in half because we're going to fry them up in the pan. Get some slime off. Um, so yeah, to cut the cray in half, actually first we'll break off the antennas because they get in the way when you're trying to fry them. So just crack off those, they come off pretty easily. Divers will know how easy these antennas come off when you're trying to grab them. And you get the antennas. Oh, this is about. This one's about to mould. What happened there, guys, is I just broke off one of the antennas to make it easy to cook. And there's another t antenna underneath. That means this cray was getting pretty close to moulting, getting a new shell. So that might be interesting. Might have two sets of legs. <laughs> so to cut the cray in half, you just go in at the mouth, straight down. Then it's straight down the back. <coughs> so once you get the back half all cut, swing around, go back in at the mouth and cut the front in half. This instantly kills the crayfish. So you don't really need to worry too much about drowning them when you do it this way. Then just kind of crack the bits of shells. They're still holding on. In half. Then you just want to pull out the guts. And also you want to take the chibi poo thing out. Which is some of it there. Righto, so now this crayfish is ready to be fried. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just giving the abalone just a quick rinse to get off some of the dirt and seaweed. Do what on? You don't really want to eat the sand and seaweed. So now I'm just going to prep the abalone. Um, we've, only got a, we've only been a couple of people right now, so we're just only going to eat three of them. But basically, you just want to cut up the abalone as thinly as possible. The front bit is not very good, so generally I just cut about this much off because I don't use it. And then you cut it off as thinly as humanly possible. The more see through, the better. Okay, so I've finished cutting up the abalone. That's about three abalone in there. Just to give you an eye, guys an idea, that's about the thickness we want them. So you can kind of see the shadow of your finger through them. So they're slightly transparent. Maybe like a middle or two thick. So pretty thin. Yeah. Now I'll show you guys what the marinade is made. So to make the marinade for the abalone, it's actually pretty simple. I just use the use sweet chili sauce, soy sauce, garlic salt, fish sauce, and just fried up a little bit of butter. So you want about maybe two thirds of it to be sweet chili and soy sauce. Put about a third down the whole thing. Then just put make the rest up from fish sauce, garlic salt, or whatever Asian sauce you have around that you think might go well. And just get a fork. sit for as little or as long as you want. So I'll just let that oven only sit there for a bit while we prepare the sauce for the crayfish. Okay, so to make the sauce for the crayfish, I'm going to use some garlic salt, butter, lemon pepper, cane pepper, and a bit of chilli flakes. Slice it up. So the first step is you just get a little bit of butter, not that much butter. That should be plenty. And you put it in the microwave until it's a little bit brown. Mm. That was in the microwave for about 20 seconds. You need to oh. see. So now I'm just going to chuck in a little bit of a little bit of garlic salt, not tons, a little bit, a bit of lemon pepper seasoning, as you do. Um, a little bit of cayenne pepper just to give it a spice and some chili flakes. Right, so now what you want to do is, once you have all the ingredients, just whisk her up with another fork. 
the car. So now I'm just going to cook the fried fish and do that. We're just going to put a pan on about medium heat. Put a bit of butter on the pan. And while the butter's melting on the pan, I'm just going to grab the crayfish sauce stuff, drizzle sauce onto the top of the crayfish. Don't drizzle onto the shell, drizzle it onto the meat. That's a big tip. That butter is pretty melted. So I reckon the crayfish are on. So with the crayfish, you want to cook them five minutes each side. So first, you put them on the shell side down, just like that. Oh, well, in the meantime, we'll get the abalone on. So I've just melted some butter onto the pan for the abalone. And so with the abalone, you want to cook it really fast, no more than a minute. Is what you want to cook for. So just scoop a bit on. And just toss it all around. So don't put too much abalone on each time or else it won't fry properly because if you put the food on they'll go quite chewy. So I'm going to put them hot and fast. Hot. Abalone. Now we get the next batch of abalone on. Abalone is done. And now, time to flip the craze. Yep, I'm going to flip the craze. It's pretty simple, you just get it and just flip it. And that's it. You get it and you flip it. Mm. So it's been about 10 minutes and so now we're going to take the crayfish off. Do a little wriggle to get it unstuck. Yeah. Crayfish. How's that been? Look. Now if you want you can just drizzle a tiny bit more sauce on. Oh yeah, so we're serving up now, we've got the abalone ready, crayfish ready, crayfish ready, serving up, Benny's ready. There's only one thing left to do now, and that is... Eat it. Let's go. Okay. 